Lee Fent stepped up the game big times and came out with a high-end dedicated mopping robot called the T1. It of course has all the newest features like smart mapping, object detection and avoidance, self-refilling, self-cleaning, self-drying, bleeding edge tech right there. But is it as good as it looks? Let's find out. Got the new drip from Lee Fan. This is the T1. Well, this is the T1 mopping robot. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now, let's check it out. So, there we go. Quite a huge box. That's the front. We have this on the other side. Two nice carrying handles, by the way. We also have this side right here. And this side is just blank. And we have the brand on the top. Bottom is just blank, so let's open it up. So this just came out. This is the quick start guide right here. Okay, then up here, this tray will come out. We will take a look at that in a second. Great packaging. And then we have the next tray. And lastly, of course, the base station. All right, that's it. Wow, beautiful. And also, oh, that's just protection right there. Ah, this will also come out. Ooh, wow, oh my goodness. This is looking so nice. And here we have the robot vacuum and the rotating mops. There are even two spares included. Okay, yeah, so let's get straight to the accessories. So here we go. As I said, we will get, oh, these are actually different ones, coarse ones and finer ones. These are the mopping pads and this is what they will look like from this, well, from behind. Then we have this removable clear base where it will get washed and stuff. This is of course so that you can dry it easier, although it has a self drying options included. Then we have the ramp for entering the base bottom right there. We will also get a cleaning solution, pretty cool bottle right here. It's from, too much for me to handle, all right? Then we, of course, also get a cable for the base station. And lastly, a detailed manual right here. Super thick, multi-language, of course. On the back, we have the socials. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and the rest is just warranty. So there we go. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. Beautiful top right here. This will come out. So we have this side, top, and the rest of this thing, bottom right here. This will snap in here. Like that. Pretty cool. And then right here we have the lighter dome. Uh, here we have a protection. Let's get rid of that. Okay, in the front we of course have the charging contacts, on off button right there. And here for the brushes, let's install them. Well, for the mops actually. So this is just a mopping robot, no suction. So three rolls, spring loaded as usual, great build quality, lovely. Ah, and here on the side we also have a switch. Red and green, there's the master switch, and on the front we have all the, the sensors, of course. Welcome to use the Whoa. mopping robot. Please scan the body QR code, download the correct app, and connect to internet to get a better experience. That is a f cool voice. I turn it off again. So, really cool. And what I was trying to say is it's really small and compact actually. Sweet. And now the base station. Really shiny, super nice build quality. Here for the cable. And then this is what the side looks like. Just neat and clean and shiny. The other side looks the same. And here we have the front. So down here we have the transparent insert. And this is also where we can attach the ramp. Actually, that's, oh, snaps in place nicely. That's the way to do it. Now it will look like this. Actually on the top we also have this wrap. And on the top we also have the screen, three buttons, and this will also open up and reveal a, another little quick start guide right there. And then here of course we have the water tanks, ginormous tanks. 
one of them for the clean water and one of them for the sewage, of course. So there we have it. Dedicated mopping robot with an awesome looking base, looking luxurious. Clean water tank, switch tank, top. All right, let's take a close look. We already covered most of it. This is what the tank looks like and you can open it up right here. Easy cleaning, easy filling, thanks to this ledge right there. And it will get picked up from down here, leave up here. The sewage tank has this little valve integrated. Other than that, it lo it's looking the same. Ah, you really need to, pray to push them in quite a bit, then the, the top will close snugly, just like that. Ah, we haven't looked at the bottom. So we have four nice rubber feet for traction on the floor. And also in here, we of course have the charging contacts right here. Little holes like on a roller coaster for guiding it into the spot perfectly. And of course, this space for self-cleaning self-drying and again the robot but we also pretty much saw everything already this in more detail maybe all right oh yeah when we also have more sensors right here of course good stuff now let me tell you all about the specs and the features and now let me show you three amazing features. First of all, the T1 has ultrasonic carpet detection, which is super accurate so you don't have to worry about wet carpets when this robot is cleaning the floor. No carpet mopping 100%. When the robot detects a carpet, the mops will lift up and when it detects regular floor again, then they will come down again and it will resume cleaning. Secondly, after this set interval, when it will return to cleaning the mops, it will do so with a 40 degree hot water and also it will use this cleaning solution. You can place it in and you can put it in right here. You need to open up this seal and then you can insert it right here into the base. And then you can put back in the clear water tank and this way you will get super clean mops for clean mopping. And this cleaning process is of course super important because without clean mops you won't get a clean floor. So it's currently cleaning the mops. Sucking out the dirty water into the dirty water tank, of course. And you can see it right here. And this is quite a through cleaning. This will take a couple of minutes, but it's totally worth it. And when it's done with the cleaning cycle, it will also automatically dry the mops with a 40 degrees centigrade hot air so that the mops won't stay damp in there possibly grow mold. None of this is happening of course with the T1. They will get cleaned, they will get dried and this way the mops and also the floor will never breed bacteria, it won't smell, it will stay clean and tidy with every mopping and cleaning cycle. Now it says drying and this is what it sounds like. Drying will take quite a while of course but it's not annoying or anything like that because it is that silent. Not bad right? So let's test it. So let's get to it. Google Play install. This is the publisher, by the way, for apps Lefant. Let's go. I have already plugged it in. It says connection failed up here. And let's also turn on the robot again. Let's open up this app. Welcome to use the Lefant mopping robot. Download the correct app. So let's sign up. So there we go. Let's add equipment, give it all the permissions, of course. So here we have all the series. We have, of course, a T1 series. Let's go. It's already powered on. Let's step. Start complete mopping. Oh, no, 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 no. The voice is so cool, though. Pause mopping. Oh, it's already connected. I hope you saw that. Resume yeah. Mopping. Okay, three seconds, my bad. One, two, three. Please connect to the wireless network according to the instructions on the mobile app. Good, let's go. Smart life. Okay, it's already pairing. Connection this, successful. The system has such a nice and unique color. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> T1 is actually called tank. I was thinking about what the T, anyways. Put into service, let's go. Scan and clean the whole house. Got it. Equipment control page. 
Got it. All right, so we have three segments. We have the home page, we have the messages, and we have the mine section right here. We have manual, customer service, after sales, feedback, and about, right on. And of course, the home page is the most important tab right here. So we have my family tank. All right. Oh, it already started to map. Let's send it back to charging. <laughs> Boy, it's like it's sounding like a soldier. That's so fitting. Look at that. Perfect. Start charging. Okay, so we have the battery percentage right here and start cleaning. Okay, and we have the quick buttons, start cleaning and go back to charging and we also have more features. Okay, this everything will lead us to the to this page when we click on the robot. Point and sweep, partition cleaning. We can edit the partitions and we can set a forbidden area. And there we have all the controls, start cleaning. So let's see. With high water volume. Water tank closed. Middle, find robot. Find robot. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. We can also set a schedule. Alrighty. Remote control. We can also upgrade the firmware. And there are more settings as well. Map management. Map saving, of course. Operation records. Continue cleaning, of course. Volume control. We have the mopping mode. Strong daily gentle quick, quick mopping mode. And we can also reset the map. Yes, sir. So I will let it charge for a bit and then I will go for a test and we'll go for a time lapse. So that's the room right here. Quite a few complex areas right there, right there, right there. But I'm sure that it will have no problem. So yeah, let's go for a little time lapse. <laughs> I forgot to fill the tank. That would be the first step. So clean water tank. So that's not nearly full but this should do for a first round. All right, it's actually charging up fairly fast, around 1% per minute or like per two minutes, but I actually don't want to wait any longer. Let's go. Come on, let's start cleaning. Mop cleaning in progress. Please okay. wait. So I have the course mops on, as you saw. So first of all, they will get cleaned. Makes sense. I will put my phone right here. Start complete mopping. Okay, let's go. It's extremely silent i'm just cleaning with the water by the way there is no cleaner in here extremely silent and this is what the floor looks like so right there you can see it pretty nicely so yeah let's go for a full cycle so as you can see for my first test i was way too impatient i started the cleaning with around 26% of charge level. And that's not enough because the robot will actually stop and go back to recharging at 15%. That's why I had to do it all over again. But at least this way we got a fresh start with a fresh map. So everything from zero, this is what it looks like. Whole mapping process from scratch, let's enjoy. And by the way, LeFont has informed me that they recently added a feature because thanks to their microfibers and even penetration of water is ensured. And this will result in effective stain removal and also a quick drying of the floor. And this of course helps to prevent watermarks and leave the floor behind sparkling. Especially for wooden floors, as in my case. So definitely look out for that. You can actually see it in the time lapse, the drying of the floor. I will go a bit slower with the time lapse speed so that you can actually see it, how the water evaporates. Pretty cool. After every five minutes, it will go back to the base and do a full cleaning cycle so that the mops are clean and then it will start where it left off. And when it's done, of course, it will return to the base and charge. And it will also dry itself for quite a long time. And this is actually a good feature, in my opinion, because this will ensure that it won't get damp or moldy. So truly autonomous, no worries whatsoever. So there we go. 30 minutes of cleaning time, 17 square meters. That's the, the route, looking good to me. The green one and also the blue one is my, well, my living area and the orange stuff is the kitchen, perfect. And the floor is looking pretty good. And lastly, it's currently drying, yeah, but yeah, lastly, let's of course check out the dirty water tank. Oh boy. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. So is it as good as it looks? As you saw, 
definitely. The base station is quite massive, so T1, tank one maybe, and that's actually true as you know, as we saw. But in any case, thanks to this big base station, it can sustain itself for quite a long time. Massive water tanks in there, just fill them up once, once in a while, set it, forget it. Very, very autonomous robot right here, minimal maintenance needed. That's the future right there. Looks absolutely phenomenal and does everything that it promises very well. Great app, great features, great performance and great results. So Defend entered this high-end segment of cleaning robots with a bang to say the least. Definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will listen link the best deals for you but before you go smash that like button then subscribe ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy the and I will see you soon.